The CME Fed Watch tool now fully pricing in a cut in September, but some economists are now calling for a cut at the meeting later this month. But be careful what you wish for. At least that's according to our next guest. Joining us now is Stephen Rashudo Mizuho, U.S. Chief Economist. Stephen, it's good to see you. Um, actually, I want to start, Stephen, with, with the economic news we got this morning. I just want to curious to get your take there. That June retail sales data we got, Stephen, is better than expected. I'm curious to, to hear what you made of that report and just more broadly where you think the American consumer is at right now. Yeah, I think the retail sales number today, you know, moves the series back to what you would expect given where the payroll employment numbers are, the income generation coming off of that, and the industrial production coming off of that. This is an economy that is still very, very resilient. The U.S. consumer is resilient. And although we like to talk about, oh, gee, the labor market is becoming more balanced, you know, we're going from an exceptionally tight labor market condition of 3.7% to 4.1% unemployment. And that's still below what we economists typically believe is the new neutral rate of unemployment. So it's still a tight labor market. The fact that the consumer is, you know, resilient as a result of that should not be a surprise. Stephen, um, I believe you were one of the folks coming into this year who said maybe we won't get any rate cuts um, when the rest of the market was quite certain that we would get many. I'm curious where, where you're at now, given, you know, what we heard from Jay Powell the other day, given the latest inflation readings and given the retail sales numbers today. Yeah, you're asking a really good question. I mean, I think the, the, the point here is we've been data dependent all along. We came into the year suggesting that there would be a transition in the economy from above trend growth to trend growth. And that along with that, we'd see some modest easing up of the labor market conditions. And, but inflation would get stuck at around the 3% level as opposed to the 2% level. And largely, that's still the case. Um, you know, the economy looks as if it's going to average 2% over the first half of the year, which is trend. It's not below trend. Uh, it looks as if the uh, labor market has eased up a bit, but really not a lot. Uh, in addition to that, inflation is in this 2.6 area. And given the, the benchmarking or the base effects, we're likely to move higher as the balance of the year progresses. So you've kind of got the best period of economic information to say we should be cutting rates. But the reality is you haven't quite hit that test yet of where you should be to really cut rates. And the market wants to adjust so aggressively that it's creating a financial market environment that I think is providing extra stimulus to the economy. And that could very well preclude a rate cut. 